hello, hello, and welcome to our catalog launch party. We are launching the Journey Holidays Trends Mini Catalog. If that's not a big mouthful for you, um, a lot of you have seen it. Here it is. It's such a beautiful little thing. And again, we are on day one of the catalog launch party. I'm Kim Kesty, your creative director here at Fun Stampers Journey. And I'm in the video studio, not by myself, with a couple of additional Journey crew members. So let's check out who we've got with us today for sure. My moderator is... Hi everybody, Laura Murray back here to celebrate another lunch party with you. Yay! Do you guys like how I was like, and the moderator is, da 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 da, yay! That, that was just to build up the suspense because guess what? The very first category that we're talking about in this mini catalog is Halloween. So that was like our little suspense. We should add some fun music in there. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, let's take a look at our Journey ho Holidays catalog. Again, the cover, super fun, warm and cozy, totally gets me in the mood for the holidays, that's for sure. Um, but as we open the catalog and kind of breeze through, we'll skip past the table of contents. Ooh, I'm going to talk about this a little bit later, but the host exclusives, so much fun. If you host a party, you can get some amazing product, including some stamp sets. Love those. Again, we'll come back to that a little bit later. Um, Bloom Benefits, we're also going to talk about in a little bit. But I kind of want to dive into our very first category, just to start us off with a bang. And that is Halloween. So much fun. Do you guys love Halloween? I think it's really that fun holiday that we can just get into because it's all about the treats, right? It's all about the handmade treats, the candy treats, the any and all kinds of treats. I think that's what Halloween's all about. And I actually did hear some kind of survey. I don't know, Laura, have you ever heard this? Halloween is kind of more for adults nowadays than it is for kids. Have you heard something like that? Is this true? I haven't, but I hope it's true because I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> It was some kind of survey, and maybe it's all about the adults or the ones spending on them, spending more money on costumes and stuff like that. I'm not sure, but anyway, because we have some amazing Halloween stuff, I think it's going to be fun just to check it out. So let's start with one of my favorite stamp sets. Um, by the way, we are pre-recording this broadcast because I am on a fun crafting adventure right now. So we are pre-recording this, but we're going to publish it live, and Laura is going to be here at the Journey Station um, actually, if you're watching this, she's there right now monitoring your comments. So be sure to get in there and comment and leave us, you know, any kind of questions or feedback or tell us a little bit about what your favorite parts of the catalog are. And Laura is going to be there answering all the comments. So even though we're pre-recording, we still want you to chime in because it's more fun when you guys participate. So be sure to do that. Um, but again, the first tab that I'm going to show and kind of, sh you know, play with is this fun one called Eyes on You. Is that not just the most fun? What I really love about this stamp set because of the little cute monster guys is that it definitely fits with our Halloween theme, but yet it can go far beyond Halloween. There's so many cute sentiments that don't even have to be, you know, Halloween related. So if you've got any little fans of, you know, monsters or any of the monster movies or anything like that, this would be an amazing stamp set to just keep in your inventory for a long, long time. So I think we're going to stamp this guy first, my super tall, skinny guy. I love him. Sometimes it's fun just to get the stamp inky and show you guys how beautifully it stamps. We do have our deeply etched red rubber for all of our stamp sets, as always. And you can see when I flip him over that they are also indexed on the other side. So it makes them super fun, super easy to get a crisp, beautiful image every single time. So look at him, oh my gosh. He is super adorable just like this, but I have got the funnest accessories for this guy that I wanna share. Actually, let's flip open to the catalog real quick because I wanna show you what they look like here. We've got two amazing accessories that actually fit either of these stamp sets in the catalog. The first is called Spectacle Fun. So super fun. These guys are not super thin glasses. What I think I love is that they've actually got a little weight to them. And they're like heavier and sturdier. You can't really bend them. So I did want to show you what they look like in real life because they're super fun. And then we've got these monster eyes. So the monster eyes, again, are, I guess I would call them sort of like enamel dots. They're sort of epoxy, maybe halfway between epoxy and enamel. But again, they have some dimension to them. So super fun. They kind of look like flat stickers here. But I did want to share that there's, you know, just have so much character. I love them. And they're all, you know, mix and match. You can have matching pairs or you can do, you know, kind of the fun thing where you have one eyeball for each little monster. So I'm going to go ahead and pick some. I've already picked a few out of here. Let's see. I'm going to give him 
What am I gonna do? One blue eye. So again, the stamps are sized perfectly so these little eyes can go right on top. I think I'll give them one yellow eye, just to be silly. So again, any of the monsters in the set, you can mix and match any of the eyes. And there's even the big eyes for this guy, right? So you can put like a big giant purple eye on that one. So cute! I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just love these guys. So then we can pick a pair of glasses to fit on him. I'm gonna pick kind of the round one. And again, it's spaced perfectly, so the little glasses just go right on top. Either pair fits just like crazy cool. I love him so much. So then to finish him off, I'm just gonna grab some color burst pencils. And I won't go through the whole thing, you know, coloring him all the way, but just a simple idea of just grabbing, maybe we'll make his body orange. Just come in there, the pencils are so yummy and creamy, you don't have to spend a lot of time coloring. Maybe just come around the edge, then you could pick a little bit lighter orange. You know, get your little shading action going. And I love how the strokes even just kind of leave him, you know, kind of fuzzy looking. Of course, you can smooth them out if you want. It all depends on what your style is. Kind of just rubbing. You don't even really need a blender. The pencils are so yummy that they just kind of take on a life of their own. So, so fun. Like I said, I won't color his entire body. But I do want to show you the finish card. Uh, trimmed out, fussy cut around the edge, and then just mounted them on some of the colorful, fun pattern paper. Oh my gosh, isn't he cute? Do you love him, Laura? Look, he says, feed me. I love Feed him. me! It's such a great color palette, too. I was just thinking <laughs> that he had a fantastic orange beard, but then I saw the finished card, and he has a fantastic orange body. <laughs> <laughs> and those super long legs. I love the idea that we've added the little clouds in here, so he actually looks like he's really, really, really super tall, which... I love, but let's talk a minute about this pattern paper back here. One of the print sets that we have in the new catalog is called Following Prints. And this has just a fun combination of both our more fall, fall paper, and I guess that's more like these first six prints. And then the next six prints really concentrate more on Halloween, so that's the name. You guys get it? You get it? Following. Actually, I think, Laura, do you take credit for this, this I, name of this print? I know I, that we were tossing it around like, Who's gonna name it? I yeah. Oh, yeah. I I actually don't remember naming the following. <laughs> so I I don't want to take complete credit for it. But it is a great name, and I love how the bottom half of those prints in particular can actually be used throughout the year. Those are really cool colors. Exactly. Great patterns that Gorgeous. you can use for so many different things, not just anything fall. Exactly. And this pr this print in particular, the one that I used on this card. It's so fun because we we love the stripes that we actually couldn't, you know, tell you the truth, we couldn't decide which stripe we wanted. We were just going to pick one pattern. And then I was like, Are you, I can't decide, you guys. So we decided to put six inch squares and get, get you four different patterns in one sheet. So I think that's fun. That's going to give you so many opportunities to have those fun stripes for all of your projects. And then this guy right here is not in this set, but I did want to remind you that so many of our original prints from our big catalog we call it kind of our B.I.G., our big catalog, our inspiration book. Work wonderfully too. So this was kind of a funky animal print. This is from our Colorful Journey paper pack. So I love how that just coordinates fun with that. So again, don't forget to pull out your fun prints from your big catalog and mix and match. That's what makes it so, so fun and really personalizes your cards to the max. Okay, so I have uh, one more project I want to share and that'll be real quick. I know that Normally we do one project per segment, but I couldn't stop myself. I'm like, we gotta show a little bit more of Halloween. Tomorrow we're gonna be talking a lot about Thanksgiving and all the fun things that happen in that set of the holidays, but let's continue on with Halloween real quick. So this is one of my other favorite sets from the Halloween section, and it's called Skeletons Dance. And these little skeletons are so cute and charming. Look at him, he's kinda scared. This one's just happier than happy, and then all the fun, amazing sentiments you have. So I did want to stamp one of him out, and I'll show you one little tip for coloring him, which we did not show in the actual catalog, so I wanted to share it with you here. We're always trying to add something a little fun and interesting for our launch parties. Some extra new little tip. So let's stamp him out. Now, because I know that a lot of these costumes, at least ones that I've seen for kids and whatnot, kind of have that glow-in-the-dark look, so we decided to experiment with it, and we, I think we got it to where it looks pretty cool. This is pencil number 19, so this is just, again, from our Color Burst set. 
but it's kind of our sour lemon. So it's kind of that, you know, almost neon yellow. So all we did was come in here, and again, this color doesn't have to be real exact. We just kind of went in and shaded some of his little cute little bones, his cute little skeleton. Do you guys kind of see where we're going with it? Because we're not coloring completely in, he kind of ends up having this like little glow. Now, doesn't he look a little bit like that reflective neon-y glow-in-the-dark stuff? I think so. Chime in with your comments if you think that gives a fun look of like glow-in-the-dark. And again, we just cut out one of our oldies but goodies snapshot frames and we cut him out because he has the matching die. Oh, I don't think I brought the matching die. So this stamp set has the matching die, so you can just go ahead and easily die cut him out. And then let me show you what we ended up doing with it. Let's bring in this little cutie. So I took one of our corrugated boxes. That's just our standard corrugated box. Added some fun, colorful candy. And then ended up turning this project into a tag. So love having these tags, loving having them handy for you know wrapping a quick gift. Because like I said, Halloween's all about the candy, right? So isn't he cute? It looks like he's got this little glow-in-the-dark look. And then even this hand is like pointing the way. Hey, more candy this way. More candy this way. Love it. <laughs> so, so much fun with that. Love to have you guys check out all the different sections of the Halloween section. Tell me some of your favorite things. I know Laura's got some things that she's had an eye on over there, so I want her to share with those. But again, comment, tell us what you love. When I get back in town, I'm going to watch the replay, so I want to hear all your comments. But Laura, what have you checked out in this section? Yeah, so last lunch party we did a little bit of trivia every day where you would come back the next day and find the answer. This time we're not going to do that. This time we're going to do in the moment, study your catalog, and make it exciting. So just a real quick flip through. I want to know what details you've noticed, particularly in the Halloween section, that had really caught your attention. So everything, of course, we know how um, intense it could be to create a catalog. So everything from creating the cards to creating the designs of the stamps all the way down to the photography and the layout of the actual catalog. I just want to know what caught your eye? What's, what is something that you want to try yourself? What's a stamp set that you are really drawn to for one reason or another? And I'll share with you the Halloween set that I'm really drawn to is actually Strange Beauty and I'll share a little thing. Um, Halloween is not my favorite holiday, like at all. I don't like uh. it. <laughs> I try not to be a big candy person. I have a one and a half year old kiddo, so he's not quite to trick or treating age yet. So I'm savoring those those beginning couple of years while I have a young kiddo that won't be asking me for every little thing to go out and trick or treat. <laughs> but I do like Strange Beauty because although I don't like bugs, I was particularly drawn to the detail in the wings and in the body and I just think our designers are amazing they're like my own little um, they're, they're my own heroes if you will I look up to them quite a bit in the in the journey station so every little project that they're working on I try not to look over their shoulders at their computer um, as they're drafting their projects but they come up with such amazing ideas and they're so so great at what they do so if you take a look at strange beauty you might notice that there's a little flying bug in there with some beautiful designs, some stars on her wings and a, and a moon in there too. And then of course, if you look at the clips and some of the accessories, they might be the same species of bug, but they're done in a different way. And again, just so, so beautiful. So that was the detail that I was really drawn to in the Halloween section. And of course, as Kim mentioned earlier, I am moderating the comments right now. So it's my own little way of being in two places at once. I've never done that before. That sounds really cool. <laughs> so go ahead and comment what you found as I was just sharing my story with you, what you found in the Halloween section that you're really enjoying and what detail you were drawn to. I love that. That's awesome. And again, every time that we hear feedback from you on the catalogs, it just helps us grow and improve and make the next catalog better. We kind of laugh when someone says, this is my favorite catalog. Like, how are you ever going to top it? And Somehow we do because we just rise to the challenge and we love to give you what you love in the catalogs and what you want to see. So definitely we appreciate that feedback and value that feedback. But I love those comments. Yeah, there's so many things to look at between the pattern paper and the stamp designs and of course the projects themselves in that catalog. So super fun, super awesome. Um, I think we're just about wrapping up day one of our launch party here. And again, it's kind of that spooky thing. We're in two places at one time. I do love that. But be sure to tune in tomorrow at 3 o'clock, 
same time, same place, we will be back here to launch the next section, which, yes, is Halloween. And there's, uh, oh, excuse me, Thanksgiving, what am I saying? Halloween's today, Thanksgiving tomorrow. And it's so warm and cozy, it really is an amazing section, so you will not want to miss it. So in the meantime, take care, and we'll see you back tomorrow.